In this video we want to talk about critical to quality trees, so-called CTQ trees. Now for new products and services quality is important. In fact we could say that quality is important for all products and services, but new products and services need to be established in the market and for that reason they should have uh, particular emphasis on quality. They, they should emphasize the quality element uh, in the marketing campaigns leading to the introduction of a new product or service into the market. So quality should be emphasized from the outset. But of course equally as I just said uh, quality is important for all products that the company produces. They should offer good quality, value for money, good after sales uh, uh, service so, uh, but for new products it is particularly important. So it's important to satisfy the clients, the, the customers. The customers should recognize the product after a period of time as representing good value for money as I said and representing good quality. Uh, it, it should stand out from the competitors. So quality should be emphasized and there are many videos on this course talking about total quality management and quality initiatives and the quality gurus and so on um, and this one simply tries to operationalize quality how can an organization go about uh, ensuring that its products have good quality so if it has good quality then it should stand out from the competitors which should enable it to enter the market and establish itself in the market and be um, a good con uh, contributor towards the, uh, the finances of the business. So let's look at this idea of um, critical to quality trees, CTQ trees. Well they help to develop and deliver high quality products and services. They're they're a, a good way of ensuring that quality is checked and established throughout the process, the various processes it goes through, I should say, within the organization. And they help to deliver a good quality product. They also translate broad customer needs into specific, actionable and measurable performance requirements. So the critical to quality trees look to the customer and to the customer's needs and then tries to move the customer's needs into specific actionable and measurable performance requirements. What should the product do or be uh, have the capacity to do to meet the customer's needs and these should be actionable, they should be, should be capable of meeting those needs specifically. So here we would look at for example the broad customer needs. Then we'd have to look at the drivers, the attributes sought by the, the customer. So what's the broad customer need, what does it want overall and then what particular attributes should the, uh, should the customer or does the customer have in mind? What, what does the customer want more specifically? And these are the drivers. And the measure, what are the measurable requirements of each driver? How do we measure whether the attributes that are sought by the customer are met or not? So let's just look at having some need. Well this need would have a driver. This is the broad customer need the customer has some broad requirement but then it will have some specific driver, some, some specific part of that need will be of particular importance to the, the customer and these may ha this driver, this, this attribute may be met by say two particular requirements. The, the, the product should have two requirements and if these two requirements are met then that driver is met and if the driver is met then the need may be met entirely or it may be partially met. 
but certainly it's moving in the right direction. So the idea with this diagram is we, we have the broad need. The broad need is made up from drivers, is what the, the customer is looking for, some specifics about the product. And then there's the requirements. Uh, if the customer was, say, looking to buy a car, it's got a broad need to, to buy the car. But then might look for particular attributes of the car. Say the car should have uh, a certain type of engine. Well then the requirements of that type of engine must be met. These are measurable inputs that, that should be met by the producer. So the producer then is required to have particular engine types then these become the attributes. This is one of the attributes that the the uh, customer has in mind and that will partially meet that need. Of course the broad need may be made up from more than just looking at the engine side, size. You could have uh, not the, just the engine si size but uh, perhaps the economy of the car. How much uh, petrol does it take to to move the car? Uh, how many miles per gallon or kilometers per per gallon or per liter or whatever uh, how how much how how efficient is the engine that might be one and that will have again some measurable requirements that needs to be uh, looked at by the producer the car should have certain functionality perhaps certain uh, components it may have to have a radio for example so that would be a particular requirement as well. So we can see that the broad need is to have a car, but then there are specific attributes that the car should have to meet this customer's requirements. It should have a certain engine size, it should have certain upholstery, it should have certain economy or efficiency, it should have a certain capacity, and it goes through it. And there may be many of these so-called drivers that the um, that the customer will have in mind, and these have to be met then by the producer. If they are met, then all of the attributes will be met, and then the the broad need will be met. So let's look at critical to quality trees. Well, we have the need, we have the quality driver, and the performance requirement. Now, the need is to promote a new product. Let's say that's the particular need. Promote a new product. So we need to uh, establish quality credentials. And one of the quality cred credentials could be to meet national health and safety standards. So that might be one particular one that's important when looking at quality. But it should also be the case that quality needs perhaps uh, to have an honest and open approach with clear guidelines. So quality should be explained clearly to the customer uh, what the product can do or can't do and how it's made and how reliable it is. And this should be honest and open. So that could establish some uh, credentials there So in promoting a new product that we could have after sales service um, something very specific say deal with customer complaints within seven working days that's the performance requirement uh, deal with refunds within five working days that's perhaps a requirement and we could have set marketing targets say for example grow sales by five percent per month or enter an international market within two months of startup. So if we just study this tree for a moment here we've got the need which is promote a new product then we have quality drivers well establish the quality credentials so in other words uh, look to 
the broad statements about quality that will apply to this new product. It will meet national health and safety standards, so the product will tick that box, and it will be it will be presented in an honest and open fashion. The quality uh, attributes of the product will be discussed honestly and openly. So that's quality credentials dealt with. After sales service, well, set up the quality driver here is after sales service. What, what, how will this be achieved? Well, the performance requirements would be, let's say, to deal with customers within seven working days or deal with refunds within five working days. Now, why seven and five? Well, these are just picked by the company to indicate that all issues will be dealt with in that time frame. So after sales service is now clear. Uh, customers know what they're going to get in terms of after sales service. Set a marketing target. So the company sets itself a marketing target and the marketing target is specified. Say grow the sales by 5% a month or enter an international market within two months. So it's got performance requirements. Now the company knows what it needs to do in dealing with this uh, new product. So it, ne it knows what it needs to do, it knows what the, the quality issues are, and it knows what it's promising. So there will be a new tree for each need. So each need that is, you can imagine, there will be a new tree with a quality sort of quality drivers and performance requirements. And that's how it's it's worked out. That's how in practice it would be worked out. Um, the broad needs would be identified. Quality drivers would be associated with them. So, uh, what aspect of the product uh, are we are we dealing with? Some some quality driver, and then how is that quality driver met? How is that requirement met? And these are the performance requirements. So, if we look at the left hand side, we see. Uh, what the customers want or or what the company wishes to do in this case promote a new product and on the right hand side the under performance requirements we see what it must do in practice but we can see where each one of these um, tasks on the right hand side they feed into quality drivers and the quality drivers is what uh, will enable the the need to be met well, this is quite a short class, so that's all we want to do here. Um, it's wise for you to, say, practice drawing up uh, charts like this and see if you can work out what the quality drivers are and what the performance requirements are to uh, establish these, to, to make sure the quality drivers are met and that, therefore, the overall need is met as well. But that's all we're going to deal with, so let's leave it at that and say thank you for watching.